is back. I mean, we have missed you, but you've been busy developing stuff yeah. for us. I yeah. I have been so excited about my line and bringing it to HSN and to be able to bring you guys something home. And something I notice is I drink a lot of coffee in the morning <laughs> to keep all the energy <laughs> up all the time. Shannon drinks I, no coffee. I know we're much. shocked to hear that. Yes. I really don't. I mean, I, I, it's really hard to believe, but it's, it's, it's really true. It's and what I was noticing mind. was in coffee, how much acid is in coffee. Yeah. So much that my dentist made a killing on me last year to make sure. And I was starting to see things at this place that has a star in it and yes. it's fancy pantsy. Okay. They charge They're, you a lot more than a buck for what you're getting. They do. And you're getting now uh, cold yeah. brewed coffee. And I said, I need it. I want it. And I want to try to do it. And you get the true natural right. flavor and of the fruit. So, but you don't get that bitterness. You don't get that acidity. Right. So if you do have a sensitive stomach or a mm -hmm. sensitive pocketbook and you'll yes. love that cold brewed coffee, they charge you more money for it, by the way. And actually here in Florida, my local little place where they treat you like a star and charge you a lot more than a buck, they don't always have the cold brewed coffee. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I will say this with summer around the corner, it's much more than just cold brewed coffee. If you're thinking sangrias, if you're thinking party, if of you're thinking you drinks, and plus, it right. looks really cool, too. So what we're doing with the whole cold brew is, yeah. I love the chicory cold brew coffee where it has that nice anise flavor to it. What we're doing with cold brew, first of all, is you're 65% less acid. That's better on your teeth, that's better on your tummy, yep. and you're getting the natural flavor of the of the coffee itself. So what I have here, why don't you guys come over here real quick, and I'm going to yeah. have Shannon and I do a breakdown of what you actually have, is you have this glass. Right. This is scientific glass. If I can say the word correctly, I would, but the reason why I leave it non so fancy pantsy yeah. is scientific glass that literally from hot to cold can go in here. If you wanted wow. to make cold brewed tea in here, you could. If you wanted to pour hot water in yeah. here, you could. If you wanted to do anything, it'll handle from cold to hot. I can okay. pour hot water in here. And then, you know, you and I are kind of fans of sangrias and mixes, yeah. but you got to take a spoon to mix it up. So I made yeah. a little attachment that comes nice. with it. Oh, that's that a good you, idea. You lift up and down. It allows you to mix everything inside there and it looks great. It it fits does. in the fridge at the same time too, Beautiful. and it has a uh, non-movable non right. base here, silicone, base. silicone base here. Is that a stainless steel filter then? Or yes. What's going oh, on there? oh, I'm so excited about the stainless steel fil filter because yeah. nothing can get through here, guys. Nothing at all. You can keep all the flavor, none of the floaty, right. sun tea, all that stuff it that goes inside. Sense. And I said, we well, you know what? It's not easy to clean, so I made sure that you can take the bottom off too and wash that out. Just like that, I can see you guys. Okay. So iced tea, coffee, sangrias, yeah. you name it. Ooh, fancy pantsy spa water at right. that place. It's oh, really yeah. fancy and expensive. I know. One cup they were charging the other day, okay? Uh, what I'm going to do here is this is just literally, oh, I want to show you. Here, let's start with the first thing here. Okay. So what I did was, this is my sangria, and I want to take a plate. And with your sangria, you want all the spices. Overhead's going to sure. catch all this. Look at this, guys. You get all your spices, right. like your clove, your cinnamon, your star anise, all that great stuff. But yeah. have you ever tried to pour it out oh, and it God, gets stuck at the end of the, of the, end of the funnel? Yeah. So all you do is you take this. And all you gotta do is wash this guy out. You take the bottom off, you wash out your stainless steel yep. mesh that nothing gets stuck inside of it at all, just like so. So this not is, something you have to replace, not something that is a cartridge right. or anything like that. Then you take this, I put my little stir whisk guy, it pops right on top. You flip it and lock it in, and then you go up and down and make oh, sure you infuse cool. all that delicious flavor. Now, if you love infused wines, or you want to make margaritas, or you want to make anything like that, you can do it all in here. And you're not worried about if it's going to break, right? or if it's going to shatter. It can handle hot. It can handle cold. It can handle all of it. You can do it all, and all I do is just take my lid, which yeah. you get the lid with it too, and you just twist the lid on top. And my dear, you know what I do at the, you know what I do at the house? Yeah. I make orange juice ice cubes. Oh. So whatever I pour over the top, you can do flavored oh, ice cubes. And look idea. here with a little singer. Let's, let's mix this here. Sorry, and tighten it okay. to close it because in my house, you drink it all. Yeah. But I have to say, I love the glass decanter. I mean, it looks attractive whether it's on the table or in the refrigerator. Right. Now, you were telling me, too, that I can keep this in the refrigerator for weeks and I still won't get that bitterness. Right. So how about coffee? Let's go ahead and make some coffee. This okay. let, oh, I got the cold brew coffee in all here. Right. Check it out. Come over here in uh, refrigerator land, guys. All right. Have you ever seen how beautiful, look here, how beautiful this looks right along the wall. Very I had nice. cold brew coffee in the fridge. Now here's the deal, Shannon, with cold brew coffee. This can fit also in the side of the fridge, which I love, okay? Yeah, and I made, some, I made some spa water here. So what you do with the cold brew coffee, if okay. you brew coffee at your house, you know how long that coffee lasts on your, on your coffee pot? 
okay? Four hours, it gets bitter. The acid starts coming out of it. I can leave this cold brew coffee in my fridge up to two weeks. You're getting the life out of right? it. You know how much you pay for just oh, ground yeah. coffee? And I'm doing cold water That's over the top. True. 12 hours in your fridge, guys. And all you have to do is take it, twist the lid just like so, yeah. okay? And we're gonna just take our cold brew coffee. Let's do a little twisty twisty. Okay. And do me a favor, okay? All right. Just like so, and I'm gonna put some cream in it, okay? Yep. And we just take a little bit of cream and we make the most delicious, beautiful, cold brew coffee you've ever had in your life. And I do a little half and half like they do in Miami. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. But you know what, if you only did cold brewed coffee, this will pay for itself right. literally within a couple of uses. Because right. you know very well when you go to the fancy schmancy spa shops where they've got the spa right. water. And the thing is, we were talking about it with the popcorn maker, you don't worry about all the artificial ingredients and preservatives and things right. that they put in those infusions, that they put in those specialty drinks. Right. No added sugars, no added chemicals, right. no added anything. You're just getting pure product and you're customizing the flavor profile to what you like. Just like right here, over yeah. top could possibly catch us. I have lemons, I oh. have mint in here. That spa water, you can have spa water at home. Yeah. I infuse it, so oh, now it's not floating. I want you to try this, Shannon. Yeah. Look how there's no particles, nothing None. inside there. This is gonna taste like cucumber right. land. But it's got all the flavor. It just doesn't have the stuff. The Basically. stuff that comes in it, right. and just try okay, this, try love. This. Try okay. that real quick. Woo! Watch out for my filter. <laughs> It'll attack you if you don't take it out. Okay? Oh, that's good. Like, simple, good, yeah. right? Okay. Now, how long do I just, it doesn't matter, like okay, my own personal 12 taste? hours, guys. It's okay, your own personal taste, world. but you can okay. just literally add it in there raw. So if you have kids at home that are drinking oh soda God, and you want to cut them I'm out from the that. soda, you can go seasonal. You can go, you can go summertime. There's yeah. berries and peaches right now. Just pop it in there. Put a little bit of cold water on top. Or if you're just a coffee lover, but you're noticing that you're getting the coffee yeah. stain and you're getting the coffee burn, just cold water over the top, 12 hours in your fridge. It looks great in your fridge. It can go hot. It can go cold. You can pour hot water over the top of it like I have right here. Yeah. With my tea, what can you do at home? Be able to take hot water, pour it over just like that, yeah. and look how it infuses that tea. This is this oh, is a little jasmine nice. tea. How quickly, and wow. I'm not worried about the glass shattering no. at all. So hot or cold. Hot or cold, it doesn't matter. No Sangria worries. doesn't matter. You can do yeah. watermelon flavor, you can do ginger flavor, you can do tea flavor, and it can sit in there for weeks, guys, and you can literally hold it in your fridge for weeks. The coffee will last Absolutely. a lot longer. Absolutely, and perfect results every single time. We have only 2,000 of these, right. and remember, one or two uses, it pays for itself. Whether you're talking about your own infusions, you could use it with your Andrew Lessman teas, if you love those nice. like I do, or if you're doing your sangrias, if you're doing your spa waters, if you're doing your cold brewed coffees, you're not spending five and six and seven and eight dollars per cup like you do when you go to those big gourmet per coffee cup. stores. Yeah, per, per cup. cup. Per cup. You, can, you know how much your wallet, you can yeah. put this in your back pocket exactly. and you would save hundreds of dollars a year <laughs> by just a fancy cold brew right. coffee. Absolutely. So you're back bright and early, seven o'clock in the morning. I'm, I'm going to drink this whole thing. I think you might have to. <laughs> Well, good to have you back, my Thank friend. You. I love you. Uh, no, I'm honored to have you. you help me launch my brand. Absolutely. Well, look for Ryan tomorrow at 7. We're coming back with the Dash Blender after this.